and then things started happening again with um, people at my school and um, my car was getting like food thrown on it and um, I've had a really big falling out with my friend group and things were getting said to me like in the hallways again and I was just like, okay, I'm not doing this again. Stop! Luke. No. Luke. 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 No, and you're taking the good part. Mm. Stop eating my brownies. Lucas. Yeah. Listen to your sister. So, but at that same time, I was taking meds for ADHD. I don't know if this is going to get put in, but... Bella. Um, first of all, check out my watch. So for my medical assistant class, I have to wear a watch because it's for points. We have, um, I think it's my employability um, points. So I forgot my watch and I wasn't trying to get my, my points docked. My teacher thought it was funny. My, one of my friends had an extra watch, so I just wore that instead, but I thought it was, it was the effort there. Today, I'm going to be filming a Q&A. How has it been for Savannah to juggle high school, her new job, and cosmetology school? I honestly applaud her. Keep going, Savannah, you're doing great. I'm gonna choke on this piece of bread. Honestly, it's not that hard, because obviously I do online school, so I can basically do my school whenever, so that's pretty nice. With work, um, I do my cosmetology in the morning, and so I just work after. But honestly, it's pretty easy. It's not that difficult. It's not as hard as I thought it would be because I thought like, oh, it's gonna be like, like one on top of another, but it's actually not that difficult. It's pretty, pretty good. Oh, and if you guys wanna know what I do in my free time, I hang out with Addison. She's here. What do the kids love to do after school and does Bella and Savannah have to start, have plans to start a YouTube channel in the future and love your videos? So actually, I do plan on starting a YouTube channel eventually. One of my friends was doing online school for a little bit and then she couldn't, like she needed a laptop and so I lent her one of my, my laptop, not one of my laptops, I lent her my laptop so she could do school and I'm just waiting for her to give that back so I can start learning how to edit and so once that happens, my channel will start kicking off. But I do plan on doing it and I'm really excited for it, especially because Towards the end of the school year, I'm gonna have this really cute like video about. <laughs> I'm gonna have this really cute video about like my entire senior year and like my experiences, football games, like dances, all that. And I'm really excited. I, what, what about you? I don't plan on starting a YouTube channel mainly because I already like have so much going on with like school and work and stuff. But I love helping like the cousins with um, some of their videos. I love helping mom with some of hers. It's just fun. What's your favorite subject and why? Other than honestly cosmetology because that's not like an actual subject that everyone does. Um, my favorite subject that I've done is probably honestly geometry because it was one of the easiest that I've done. Yeah, th I would agree with that. Um, I wouldn't say it was my favorite, but it was definitely one of my easiest. If you know me, you know that I struggle severely with math. And I think the concept of shapes and trying to figure them out or whatever is, it was really helpful. I'm very, um, I'm a kinesthetic learner. I'm very hands-on. So with my class, my sophomore year, we definitely did a lot of hands-on projects and it helped me severely. And I, I aced that class. Yeah. My personal favorite class would probably be... Anatomy, um, so like my medical class, my medical class helps a lot with that, and it I don't know I just find it really intriguing, especially learning about like body organizations and stuff like that. It's great, I love it so much. What grade are you in? Eleventh grade. Um, I'm in twelfth grade. Now I'm here with Rylan. He's playing Roblox. Um, how is Rylan's? <laughs> they said perfume collection going, but it's cologne. How's your cologne collection going? Good. Which one's your favorite? Uh, this one. What is, oh, it's Valentino? Yeah, Valentino Born and Noble. Do you even use any of them, like all of them? Yeah. Like all at one time or just like different no, days? No, one time. I wore this, wore this one today. I wear this one a lot. I wear that one when I'm at home. 
I haven't worn this because it's like a really winter and it's like really sweet, so it's not good. How so do you? It's the same, but this one's summer. How do you tell what's winter and what's summer? If it's like sweet, or like, see, like this is like a like a kind of a winter. This is a, I mean not winter, a uh, summer, summer, and then winter, 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 um, uh, summer. Oh, that's I have a bunch of winter clothes. What do you want to be when you grow up? I don't know. You don't know what you want to be yet? Nope. Do you have any ideas? I don't know. A streamer? A streamer? That's pretty cool. I always pictured you as a firefighter. Okay. How are Logan and Liam's uh, liking middle school and are they in classes with Brindley and Braxton? Uh, I think middle school is a lot better than elementary and I have one class with Brindley. Really? Um, what's the difference between the like your middle school class and your or your middle school classes and then your elementary ones? Just uh, like is there do you have like different classes with different people or is it like the I same class, class and different? You do? Yeah. You guys have a class together? Yeah, art. That's pretty cool. We sit next to each other. Oh really? That's fun. Okay, what grade are you in? Seventh. Seventh? Brian, what grade are you in? Eighth. Eighth? Are you excited for high school? No. Yeah, I wouldn't be either. What's your favorite sub subject? Right now it's probably art. Art? Yeah. Do you have any of your like drawings or like your paintings or anything like that? Yeah. Let me see them. Uh, Hold in two, baby. <laughs> no, I'm in seven. <laughs> I only like art because I just goof around. Oh. I know. He's always so you don't actually like to do the schoolwork? No. No, he does. No. He does. What grade are you in? Six. What's your favorite subject? Science. Do you have any classes with any of the cousins? Or like the siblings? Uh, no. What do you want to be when you grow up? A voice actor. A voice actor? Yeah. That's actually really cool. For like, Disney movies? Just movies. Just movies? movies That's really cool. So how do I manage my time between like, school, my uh, medical assistant class, and work? Truth is, I probably could manage my time a lot better um, because I also am a very social person. I definitely like to go out and do things, but I basically just get what I need to get done in class when I like can. And then on the weekends, I really grind on homework or like at late, late at night if I have something due the next day, I'll really grind on homework because... I'm on the go. I'm like on the go, on the go, on the go. I'm always on the go. So, yeah. Um, but I do, I do balance a lot of things. I and then like I have my social life, my family life. Okay, wait, wait. I have a question for you. Okay. I have a question for you. Okay. Look, come here. I have a question for you. All right. Stop moving. Stop moving. Sit. <laughs> Good dog. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Luke! We're old. Wait, what's that? Anyways. Look at how cute my dog is. No. For Bella, is it hard being a senior and having to work and be in several classes? I would picture myself doing it, but I am not sure. Um, being a senior, Oh, so this goes along with another question that was asked, um, how do I like my senior year? When school first started, I was not sure about it, like I was really dreading it, honestly. Since I've started my like school, I think the senior year overall has been super good and it's been like a really good year. Also, we haven't really done much, we've only been in school for like a few weeks, but it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Okay, I have questions for you. Yeah. What do you want to be when you grow up? A gymnast. Hey! Hi. <sighs> hey, why are you closing that? I wanted something. Okay, okay, sorry. What do you want to be when you grow up? A very, a very good gymnast. Okay. What grade are you in? Sixth. And what's your favorite subject? Math. All right. <sighs> do you have any classes with any of the cousins or siblings? No. No? No. Stop eating my brownies! Lucas. Yeah. Listen to your sister. <laughs> Why is it so zoomed in? Okay, here. Face this way. 
All right. This one says, hi, I have a question for Grandma. What was Krista like as a kid? She was um, very petite, one of my most petite babies, even though she was eight pounds and I think two ounces. Um, she was always happy. She was... <laughs> she would say her words so cute. She was just a really lovable child. Aww. That was actually kind of interesting to know, like, you never get to experience your parents' childhood. They always get to experience your childhood, so it's kind of crazy, like, hearing about how she was like when she was younger. Lou keeps on trying to eat my brownies. Stop! Lou? No! Lou? No, and you're taking the good part! <laughs> <laughs> With Bella having ADHD, what are some ways that helps her focus in class? I have it and need ideas to help me. Okay, the first semester of my um, junior year, I had been going to the school that I had went to for my freshman and sophomore year, and then things started happening again with um, people at my school, and um, my car was getting like food thrown on it, and um, I've had a really big falling out with my friend group, and things were being said to me like in the hallways again and I was just like okay I'm not doing this again and I've been wanting to switch schools my since my freshman year since everything had happened my freshman year but that was really like my biggest push to just leave and really focus on what would be better for me because it was hard the, like my friends were keeping me there but at the end of the day like I really needed to focus on it on um my mental health. So I switched over to a different school and things, okay, I love my new school. I do, I love it so much. I was going through a really hard time in my mental health though. Um, I think I had like really bad seasonal depression. So my grades did dri like drop significantly and it was hard to um, pick them back up. But I did, like I ended up passing my classes obviously, like what I what grades I needed to. Um, so, but at that same time, I was taking meds for ADHD. I don't know if this is gonna get put in, but I was taking meds for my ADHD and I was taking antidepressants. And um, they were kind of just canceling each other out because if, you ha if you're someone that struggles with ADHD, you know that some of the meds like have different side effects. Some of them make you not hungry. Some of them make you like a little more sad. Some of them like have the like opposite effect. And so I was still like trying to figure out like what meds I needed, but then I had to get, I mean, then I was on antidepressants. And so they just started canceling each other out and it just was making things a lot worse. And so at the end I ended up just not taking either of them. And so this is my first year of school since I started my meds, trying to figure out if I like can function without them. And so far, it's been like, it depends on the class. Like if I'm really intrigued by the class, then I can focus and lock in. Um, but like for history, I have a really hard time with that because it's not something I'm interested in. But when I was on my meds, I could lock in. Um, but I would say, if you're not on meds, I think really you just kind of have to push yourself and obviously you're going to get distracted and you're obviously going to want to do other things and just like be all over the place because that's just how it is. But you just have to like remind yourself, Sadie, she found food. You just have to like remind yourself a bunch like you need to get this done, you need to get this done and then you can like you can let your head go where you need, it needs to go. I, I'm not the best with that kind of advice because I'm still struggling to figure out what, like, how to function and, like, push through it too, but my biggest advice would just be to push yourself. Um, but yeah. Are there any clicks in your school? Boy, let me tell you, bro. Let me tell you. Obviously, you guys knew that I was getting bullied my freshman year. I would definitely say at least for the most part at my old school there was 110% clicks and if that's what kind of like I really like struggled with at that school too if you weren't in one of those clicks where like you 
weren't popular or if you weren't like super pretty or if you didn't do like cheer or palm which is like dance or if you didn't do football or if you weren't rich like you didn't really matter to them and I think also the way that I dressed my freshman year really was like it threw a lot of people off and um, yeah I would definitely say that there's clicks because I wasn't like them and so I didn't matter to them and so they kind of just pushed me out and like um, made me feel like I was invisible which really sucks because I was already struggling so much with like mental health and like I just came out of the foster system and so I did not need to feel invisible and that's how they made me feel. So a lot of people ask me like why I have so much like resentment towards that school um, and that's why it's because it just made me feel so bad about myself all the time. It's it, like honestly it was those two and a half years that I was there like they always made me feel bad about myself. So I don't really associate with anyone from my old school besides like Joey and like Addison, but that's pretty much it. But at my new school, this is a conversation I have with my friends all the time. And it's like, I don't feel like there's clicks at my new school. Like I, I feel like you, you can be friends with anyone. And there's just like, everyone has their groups, obviously. Like that's just how it's gonna be. But at the end of the day, like if there was like, a big function and ever, everyone go together and like you can talk to anyone they make you feel so included and I it just I love my new school and it's like I'm it's so much better for my mental health and I'm so much happier right now I think summer really helped like this summer was the best I can't even stress it enough this summer was the best summer I've ever had like the happiest I've ever been I just was just in my own world and I I started focusing on myself a lot and protecting my peace. I got, I stopped being friends with people who are always constantly dragging me down and feel like making me feel bad about myself and disrespecting me a bunch. And I think that is something that it's so hard, especially when, like for me, I am really hypersensitive. I care so much and I get so upset over little things because like, it's like stuff I would never do to someone else if somebody did that to me it just it hurts me a lot more than it maybe would someone else so I really just push people away that did not belong in my life and focus on myself and I have been half like a lot happier since and obviously mental health is something that I always struggle with and like just because I have a lot of trauma and like things like that but I, my biggest advice is to focus on yourself. If you feel yourself going down a slippery slope, pick yourself back up, find your peace, find people that make you happy, and put yourself first. And that was one thing that I really struggled with was being selfish enough to put myself first every once in a while. But I finally did it and I made no apologies for it and I just think everyone needs to do that when it comes down to that. So I'm happy, I'm a lot happier. Um, I have my days, everyone has their days, but yeah. Look, the dogs are waiting for grandma to come home, I'm pretty sure. They do this all the time. So I was actually out of town when Bella did that Q&A and I just got done watching it. And it just brought up a lot of feelings. Obviously it makes me really sad, just everything she's gone through with school. And I know we haven't gone into a lot of details about like the kids' schools or why they're switching. Like we do very basic, like, hey, this is why. But what goes in on the back end of that is lots and lots of conversations is it's it's hard. There's like a fine line, right? When like a kid's going to school or doing something that they don't enjoy, like let's say a sport, for example, we always give our kid choices, like what sports do you want to do? And then once they choose a sport and we pay for it and they start it and then say they get a week or two into it and then they're like all of a sudden like, no, I don't like it, I don't want to go. And I'm like, yeah, but you committed to the team and it's important for you to follow with your commitments and finish that out. And so as far as like that goes, I'm like, okay, like let's finish this season out. And then if you want to switch to a different one, let's do that. And so lots of conversations are happening around that. But also when it comes to school and being picked on and it affecting like your mental health, 
that obviously should be taken really seriously. And so for months, Bella and I were talking and I was like, are you sure you want to switch? We didn't want to switch in the middle of the semester because of grades and school and we didn't want her to be behind. But I'm like, is this like a teenage thing? Like you guys are just picking on each other for like a week or two? Or is this something more serious and um, needs to be taken seriously and lasting for months and not getting better and just, yeah, you get it. Um, so Bella and I sat down and I'm like, okay, if you still feel this way in a couple months, we're gonna switch you. Cause this is like, what was this? Um, I think this was like October, November of last year. And so in January is when we switched her um, and best decision we ever made. I feel like her mental health was really suffering because of being picked on and just because of the environment at that school. There were several factors, not just the kids, um, and just learning styles and just, you know, overall education with it. And so it was one of the best decisions that we chose to do. And she's so happy now. Her mental health is way better. Like, it's just made such a difference. So I guess my point of the whole thing is listen to your kids. Listen to their wants, their needs, their concerns, and try to guide them the best you can. And let them have a choice in what they do and what they say and how things go. And I feel like Bella really took control of like, this is what I want, mom. And I'm like, okay, let's go over the pros and cons of that. Let's look at the big picture. Let's look at what every little thing. And if you feel it's the best decision for you, then let's do it. And so that's what we did and it ended up working out. So, and then on the other end, if you're really struggling in school or you're being made fun of or picked on or going through something right now, like know that it's gonna get better and you're gonna get through this. And high school is such a little, little part of your entire life. I struggled in school with different friends and different things along the way too. And I actually switched my junior year schools. And, um, and it was a really good decision for me at the time. And so I look back at it and high school was just such a little part of your life. So don't make any like permanent or really drastic decisions based on temporary feelings and temporary feelings in school because those will pass. I'm not beautiful like you.